Hello, you're welcome to solve for x in this next squares problem. From what is given here, applying this, when we have n root of a, and this can be written as a raised to power one over n. So when we use this here, what we have here can be written as four times root two. Then root 2 now will then be raised to power 1 over x, then equal to 32. That is what we have here as x root of this has been written as 1 over x. The next step, let's raise both sides to power x. That is, we have 4 times square root of 2. Then also square root of 2, which is raised to power 1 over x. Then we raise to power x on this side. Then also 32 here will be raised to power x. Then since this power we multiply from the law of unity, here this x can cancel out this x. Then what we have left here will become 4 times square root of 2 then also root 2 which is then equals to 32 raised to power x then from here let's square both sides you square this side and also you square this side then this square here we affect 4 and also we affect this square root so we have 4 square then times square root of 2 then root 2 also square then equals to here this power we multiply and we have 32 raised to power 2x then from here let's still leave this as 4 square so we have 4 square then 10 square here we cancel square root and we have 2 root 2 which is equal to 32 raised to power 2x then next step we can equal the square both side again we square this side and also we square this side such that this square will affect 4 square when we multiply the power we have 4 raised to power 4 now then times it will affect 2 here we have 2 square then times it will affect root 2 then we have root 2 square then equals to also this power we multiply and this give us 32 raised to power 4x then what we have here square cancel square root here then this give us 4 raised to power 4 times 2 square then times 2 here which is 2 raised to power 1 now equals to what we have here that is 32 raised to power 4x then next let's change everything to have this 2 4 here can be written as 2 raised to power 2 then raised to power 4 times here we have 2 raised to power 2 then 2 raised to power 1 equals to here 32 can be written as 2 raised to power 5 then raised to power 4x <coughs> then from here this power multiplied and we have 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 1 now equals to here as well this multiply and we have 2 raised to power 20x then in the next step we have this and uh, from the law of indices, we can sum the power, then this becomes 2 raised to the power 8 plus 2 plus 1, then equals to 2 raised to the power 20x. Then next, this gives us 11 here, so this 2 raised to the power 11 now equals to 2 raised to the power 20x. Then from here, we have the base equal here. Then that means we can equate the power. So here we can say 20x now is equal.
equals to 11. Then divide both sides by 20. And from here, 20 cancel out. And we have x now to be equals to 11 over 20. So we have the solution to the problem. Now, let's verify from here. What is given is x root of 4 then times root 2 also root 2 and uh, equals to 32 now from here the value of x here is 11 over 20 so we have 11 over 20 root of 4 then times root 2 then times root 2 is equal to 32 on this side then what we have here from what we have which is when we have so x root of a which is equal to a raised to power 1 over n so it means the reciprocal of this now we use it to you know multiply the power so that means we have 20 over 11 so this will now be 4 root 2 then times root 2 now raised to power reciprocal of this which is 20 over 11 now then is it equal to 32 on this side then from here let's multiply both power by 11 then this 11 we cancel out this 11 then we have 4 root 2 then root 2, root 2 again now raised to power 20 now is it equals to 32 raised to power 11 here yeah? then from here we can write this as into bracket 4 times 2 then raised to power into bracket root 2 then raised to power half because this square root here is same thing as power of half then raised to power 20 is it equals to 32 raised to power 11 then from here also we have this also raised to power half so we have 4 now times into bracket 2 times 2 raised to power half then everything raised to power half which is raised to power 20 is it equals to 32 raised to power 11 then here we can multiply this power uh, inside this bracket by half that means we have into bracket 4 times here 2 raised to power half then times here 2 raised to power half times half here become 1 over 4 which is raised to power 20 is this equal to 32 raised to power 11 then from here let's use 20 here <coughs> Okay, let's say change this to base 2. So we have 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power half times 2 raised to power 1 over 4. Then raised to power 20. Is this equal to 32 raised to power 11? Then from here. And from here, this 20 we multiply this power, and this becomes 2 raised to power 40 times here, half times 10, 20 here, that's 10, that's 2 raised to power 10. Then here we have 2 raised to power 5, and it is equal to 32 raised to power 11. And here, when we bring this together, this becomes 2 raised to power 40 plus 10 plus 5. Is this equals to 32 raised to power 11? And from here, this is 2 raised to power 55. And also, 32 here can be written as 2 raised to power 5. Then raised to power 11. Then we have 2 raised to power 55 here. And when this power multiplies as well, we have 2 raised to power 55. Hence, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side, which implies that the result we have, which is x equals to 11 over 20, 
satisfy his given problem. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Share this video. See you next class and bye for now.